Right, plant physiology. First experiment is demonstrate the effect of light intensity on the rate of photosynthesis. The plant inside is El Elodia. We'll put some pond water in the plant, in the, around the plant as well. And then we move the light back and, and we count the rate of bubbles. And we wait two or three minutes, let the light adjust. And then we count the rate of bubbles coming off again. And we found that the closer the light was, the greater the rate of photosynthesis and the more bubbles. The next experiment is to investigate the factors required for germ germination. These factors are heat, oxygen and water. So what we did is we put one, one in the fridge, we got cotton wool, put cress seeds on the lot, added water to one, put one in the freezer and put the other in, sorry, uh, cover the other with some oil in order for the oxygen not to get in. And we left one then just freestanding in water in the heat. We noticed that the three conditions were water, heat and oxygen and this one germinated and the other three didn't. The experiment behind that then is the rate of uh, percentage of germination of corn. What we got was 100 seeds, we planted it and let them germinate and we counted then and we got 88% ger germination in this, in this instance. The experiment at the back is show that that if heat is released from germinating seeds, what we did is got pea seeds in both of them. We boiled one of the seeds, that we killed the seeds by denaturing it, and that meant it did not germinate. In the other flask, the green flask, it germinated, and we noticed the rise in temperature then. The next one is to investigate the photosynthesis in plants. This we got a box, and we planted some cress seeds and trays inside, and we added water to all the trays. Now, phototropism is the growth response of a plant towards light. That uh, the hole on top of the box, this compartment, the plants grew upright. The other ones, the plants bent at a 90 degrees. And the other ones where there was no light, uh, the plants just went yellow. The next experiment is to demonstrate transpiration. We've got water in three beakers, three different colour dyes, and we've got three uh, celery sticks, put it into water, and we noticed that due to transpiration, the dye was carried up through the celery plants.